How's your legs? I'm right here. Okay. Yes, we made it, girl. We made it. Give me a high five oh and give me a fucking hug. Oh my hug. god. Thank In today's List Bomb, we cover the top 10 airplane accidents. Starting off at number 10, China Airlines Flight 611. On May 25th, 2002, Flight 611 from Taiwan to Hong Kong was pulverized mid-flight. The cause was said to be the result of improper repairs and metal fatigue from 22 years earlier. There were no survivors. Number 9. Korean Air Flight 801 On August 6th, 1997, Korean Air Flight 
801 crashed into a mountainside in Guam. The devastation left 228 out of 254 people on board dead. The cause of the accident was said to be pilot error on approach. Number 8. Air France Flight 447 On June 1st, 2009, Air France Flight 447 went into an aerodynamic stall which resulted in it crashing into the Atlantic Ocean. All 228 people on board were killed. Two years after the crash, the black box was recovered and it was discovered that the crash was most likely due to pilot error, faulty airspeed indicators, and bad weather. Number 7. Swiss Air Flight 111 This flight from New York to Geneva crashed into the sea a little off of Nova Scotia, killing all 229 people on board. The cause was said to be a quick-spreading cockpit fire which led to an electrical and instrument failure. Number 6. Korean Airlines Flight 007 This accident took place on September the 1st, 1983. It's said to be one of the most tense moments of the Cold War and could have been one of the deadliest accidents in history. The flight was shot down by a Soviet Su-15 interceptor jet in the Sea of Japan rendering all 269 travelers dead. Number 5. Lauda Air Flight 004 On May 26, 1991, Lauda Air Flight 004 from Bangkok to Vienna was obliterated whilst airborne. The in-flight breakup was said to be caused by a uncommanded thrust reverser deployment. Reports stated that the resulting plunge could have well surpassed Mach 1, which is the sound barrier. There were 223 people on that plane, and all of them met their demise. Number 4. Air New Zealand Flight 901 Imagine having the privilege to take a flight to sightsee over Antarctica, and then having your flight crash into a mountain, killing you and everyone else on board. This is what happened with Air New Zealand Flight 901 on November 28, 1979. The aircraft flight management plan did not match the plan that the flight crew had been briefed on 19 days prior, and apparently nobody told the crew of the change. As a result, all 257 passengers on board died. Number 3. American Airlines Flight 191 191 was a regularly scheduled passenger flight between Chicago and Los Angeles, which crashed on May 25, 1979. It is the deadliest aviation accident to have occurred in the United States. Eight weeks before the disaster, a maintenance was run, which consequently damaged the pylon that secured one of the engines to the plane. In the middle of takeoff, that engine fell from the aircraft and onto the runway. It wouldn't have seemed like such a big thing, except that as a result, it also tore off a huge chunk of the left wing. While going through the necessary procedure for engine failure during takeoff, the pilots lost control of the airplane, which rolled into a dive and crashed. Number 2. 1996 and the Air Africa Crash The devastation happened when an aircraft attempting to take off overshot its runway and crashed straight into a street market. Only two of the six crew members that were on the plane were killed. But the real devastation was the impact the accident had on the ground when a fully fueled aircraft ignited upon crashing. Around 500 people were injured by the crash. However, 225 others lost their lives along with two of the six crew members that were on the plane. This went down in history as the most devastating ground fatality by airplane crash accident, which resulted in the death of non-passengers. Number 1. The Tenerife Airport Disaster On March 27, 1977, the Tenerife Airport Disaster occurred, which was the result of a runway collision between two Boeing 747s. Because this fatal crash killed 583 people, it became known as the deadliest accident in aviation history. 
It's believed that the KLM crew was at fault because the captain took off without receiving correct clearance from the tower. The horrific part of all of this is that the captain of the KLM crew must have realized right before the accident what was going on, because he tried to take off way too early to avoid the impending collision. Ultimately, the collision rendered everyone involved in the accident dead. Now, I know some of the items on today's list may make you scared of flying, but statistically, airplanes are one of the safest ways to travel. The probability was calculated, and you're more likely to die in a car accident than a plane crash. Knowing that, tell me guys, would you rather drive or fly? Let us know in the comments below, and please like and subscribe, and as always guys, thanks for watching.